And what are we going to be working on today for the rest of the day, Blair? I believe you're going to make me work on that. I mean, I get to work on maybe doing a quarter, pal. Yes. Except. Anyway, it's the shops turned into a little bit of a crap show here in the last week. We've well, the what really screwed us up is we started this. This was supposed to be our first project this year. Uh, due to some unfortunate circumstances, we lost the car for two months. We managed to get it back at great expense, I might add. And now all of a sudden, all the parts for it that we ordered three months ago have started to show up. So, but this gets us back to some people have mentioned things don't seem to be appearing in order. That's why, because basically, yep. Yeah. They aren't, we aren't doing them in order. Like I said, we started this one first, then it went away for two months, so we've been, uh, we got it back, uh, but now we're, we're in a big rush to get the Chevelle painted, because the other one is still sitting here too, that we have to get back in the booth. I mean, the, uh, the road runner's only about three, four days away from paint, yeah. but we've got to leave the Chevelle in the booth. So basically, if that's why the videos seem a little disjointed, they are a little disjointed, but uh, hopefully we finish them all because we have a bunch more projects lined up. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Uh, anyway, we're going to do some shop cleanup for a bit, and uh, maybe Blair will get around to hanging a quarter just for some trial fitment today. Stay tuned. Gone, Blair's got the quarter on. So, okay, Blair, explain what we did on this quarter. Well, the quarter you've had around for years and years and years, right? Yes. So well, we bought them 10 years ago, maybe, maybe they, longer. They may not have been as accurate back then, I'm not sure, but this, <laughs> it took a little finesse. Yes. So, uh, we covered up this lead seam, cut it out where it had some rust, welded yep. in a new piece over top, almost level. Yeah. We had the gap all the way down the trunk. Even the back end, I had to add from 3 8 to 0 to make this flush with the bottom of the trunk lid. Okay. Right? Yeah. So the quarter's all welded up underneath around the wheelhouse. Uh, quite a bit of finessing at the door gap. Yes. But the door right. gap's nice. I so, noticed that, uh, hang on. Let's yeah, you can open it. Okay. The first thing you have to do when you do this quarter is first line up the door with the rocker and the quarter, and so I had to take the fender off to move the hinge. So I see, I, I, see, I see we kept all of this reg, original inner structure just because it was in such good shape, right? It's perfect shape. There's virtually, there isn't even really surface rust on this. It's super solid, heavy gauge, where it's supposed to be. So basically, guys, when you buy a full quarter, it comes all wrapped around here, but I mean, if you're, what Blair likes to say is if you don't need it, keep the original metal. I, so I, this is what I cut off of the front. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a little lighter gauge. And also, if I had it taken this off, before I did, I would have had to weld some cross braces because there'd be no strength in here. No structure left whatsoever. Right. So it's just as easy, like I said, you cut it, then that way you can, well, that way you're you're not changing your gaps. This is keeping the original factory well, gap the way it was. And I didn't like the original factory gap. Yeah, so we so modified I changed it. it, and that's the easy way to do it, right? And then you just run your bead right down here and well, that's your where I uncle. welded it. Yep. And I can move the gap in or out before I weld it together. Right. So then, as you guys can look, I mean, this this car would not have had this gap back in 1970, no. guaranteed. But a flared out here, it just but show me where. Well, normally, well here when okay, well look at this gap, and then we'll go around and we'll look at the look at the factory gap. You see how this is totally consistent, top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, uh, most American manufacturing I mean, cries with door gaps underneath. You could usually stick your thumb under there. Oh yeah, especially right? on Mopar. Yep, yeah, especially on Mopar. But see here, like it's nice here, and then it just kind of goes away, right? Oh, the top part's wider. Yeah. So I mean, then if you're gonna take 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 the time, then when you're doing it, it's nice if you could add a little weld in here, or just like make it so it's nice and consistent, right? Everybody, when they go to a car show, the first thing they look at is gaps, right? It's just that when you look at a car and all the gaps are consistent, and even you know somebody took the time to do it right. And um, then I had to replace this four support here. Yep. And I was ready to weld it in, and I was ready to get the fuel line, so I had to drop the tank. 
Okay. So I made, made this out of two pieces. I'm, I've still got to grind it because it was kind of hard to get at. Yep. Yeah. Still got to replace the floor and the vertical. But I'm going to wait till maybe we get to use the hoist to leave yes. the floor. What about the floor? Well, this floor is rotten too, but yeah. we can't tell. I mean, we'll get at it. Like I said, I'm going to get them. So I'm going to start at this corner. We'll get all this here so we can move again. Then we'll take everything out, out of this car. And then we can see what's going on. Do you want me to keep working on this or what? Uh, well, our buddy's not coming in until noon. I mean, we could just start up and you could start whacking this one. Or do you want to finish that patch first? What do you want to do? Well, I was kind of hoping it might get on a hoist one day and I can go underneath and stand up and rebuild all that. Whoa. But that's not a possibility. Well, it's a possibility, but it takes a couple of hours. Yeah, I, can, I, can, I can work on the trunk with it. There's a big rust hole on that door. There's yep. going to be. Yes. Where's okay. the hammer? Okay, oh, the hammer. No, not the hammer, Blair. Nice. The hammer of death. Okay. Yeah, maybe fix the door, but the door looks pretty good. But if you look here, right? Ah, ah, no, don't do it. Okay, but Sorry, that's yep. gonna take. Yep. And you don't happen to have another door? No. It's not that bad though. For it. I mean, I've seen worse. <laughs> You fixed for us, but anyway, <laughs> I don't have a spare door. Well, now he's got the chisel out, guys, just to make sure, yeah. Yes, I see some work on the door, but so yeah, if you want to start doing that, we can start doing that, and I'll try to make some room. Okay, I may take the door off. Well, probably it'll look probably a lot well, easier. Well, it's hard to make your gap just right, but I can always fine tune it when I get the welder. Okay. It'll save me a lot of time. You do that oh, and these chrome time. holes. I, I weld them up. It's like, are you not going with chrome up We're here? We're not going with chrome. See all like, these? I mean, basically, the chrome was a Malibu option. Oh, this car was a Malibu, but the SS's didn't have it. So we're cloning this as a big block car. So yeah. Okay. See these ones? These ones have been welded up too. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't. Out. I do not like extra chrome. I mean, Chevy back in the '60s and '70s like putting chrome on. But the performance cars didn't seem to have, have less, so. All right. I guess that was Chevy's way of saying less is more. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, hammer. I don't know. I could lose my hammer in that. Huh. Wow. How, what, how would it rust? What a weird place to rust. Pretty. I mean, I can fix it. Maybe. Sometimes, no matter how hard you hit it, it won't make a hole, Blair. I know you like. It. <laughs> we do have another door. I think we can find a dead squirrel or something in there. Every we do have another door if you want to take take one off. But... No, I can fix it. Well. Or should we just look for another door, Blair? Okay, I'll Let's go take a look. I can go to the other door. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This place has got to be straightened up. Yeah, yeah. I can go work in the other door. The trunk lid, I got chrome holes. To work. Okay, but we do have another door. I don't want to take it off the car, but I mean, if this is a thousand dollar fix, I'd rather go get another door. Is this the same as that one you just bought out there? No. Oh, okay. But the one I got off Dubs is the same. Ooh, and that'd be a really nice one. I know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'd like that door. That'd be a good one. Okay, well, if you want, you can go and grab it. All right. Is okay. it bolted to the car? Yes, it's bolted to the car. Yeah, I'm happy to Yeah, I think the glass is out of it, so I don't I don't think you need a hand. Uh, you can probably just go and grab it. Yep. Okay. You got the wrench? Yes. Okay, you might want to put your coat on. Ooh, she's crisp. Oh, tell me we can get out the door. No, oh, we can't even get, oh, maybe we can. I don't know, we can even get out the door. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, watch this stuff. Give me a snack. This great inch well is nice. Hey, take it easy on the stuff. Oh. Did that hurt right away? I hope yeah. it did. Karma. <laughs> Karma. Okay. 
Save those bolts. Oh original. yeah, they're original, right? Am I allowed to paint them or you want the patina finish on the bolts too? You know what's cool? This car was the exact same color as a convertible. Well, right, I bet it says paint. Oh, you know, what? I got to run the numbers. You're oh, killing my car. I'm trying to save you money. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just cost me more when I go to do this one. Well, if it's only a parts car, that's fine. This is not a parts car. What are we taking it? What, taking, what are we taking parts off of? This is, car. Yeah, but it's not a parts car. This is the nicest one I've ever owned. Body wise, it's meant that it's been parked for like 30 odd years. How long have you had it? Uh, a couple. It was behind James's shop on the out there in the the industrial park where the shop is. Oh, was that the first time you had it? Yeah. You bought it from James. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Was well, a nice tour. <laughs> we'll just blast that. You want me to grab an end? Uh, hey, hey, hey. Just putting a few extra dents in it, oh. just out of spite. Actually, yeah, just lean it against this front tire. I'm going to set up the blaster. Okay. That is a thing of beauty. So I'll take the door handle off and the door lock. Then I'll blast it. I'll actually put the door handle in the lock back in the car because that'll go with all the rest of the locks on that car. So I don't want to, right? Just because I might have my keys in there. Sometimes you can tell the lock from this when door, you just we? shouldn't argue. This is one of those times. Well, it, well, don't we have the handle locks? Well, wouldn't and, you just buy new freaking locks and keys? You're building a car. Well, because all of those match. So just put that back with that car. It matches but everything. But you're not going to put a old freaking lock on a fresh brand new paint job. That one might be done as a patina build. Just don't throw them out, Blair. Like they're 100 bucks a piece. We'll just I knew better. Back. Yes, you knew better. Why do you go there? Yep. Save that stuff. That was the mistake. The default stuff is never I as good. It's never as good as the original stuff. I don't care. Wow. The only part that was ever good or better was that 55 stuff, remember? Yeah. On the wagon? That was amazing. That was amazing stuff. I had a thousand bucks a pop. It was amazing. It's not worth it. You happy with that, Blair? I am really freaking happy. Just look, this is how you tell. Look at this bottom edge. It's not swollen. It's tight the whole way down. It's never had rust in between. That's the first place they start to go. This. This is freaking amazing. I, don't I know. Like, it, it like, pains I mean, me. You can sand paint this and it'd be good for another 20 years. It pains me to take. Look, it has the original, the original door it's sticker. It's breaking your heart, too. It is. <laughs> it's breaking. 12 to 69. Right? So that door was made December. That car was made December 69. Yeah, I mean, to fix the other door is a $1,500 bill by the time I get it fixed. You know what's cool? Like, it's the same color as this car. Same paint over, I'm pretty sure. Mike. Yeah, I know. Okay. And I gotta save these. They're just the right length, just the right size, just the right washer. Be a pain in the Batuski if I lost these. Plus, I would never hear the end of it. But, let's we'll save this. Even this, you look at this, all this rust repeating. You don't put that in a new paint job. You, I mean, it's just, it's hacked. It's time to redo. Uh, some people would say. My fearless leader may not agree. Are you sliding over No, there? no, no, no. I was explaining how sometimes we have different opinions on what should be reused or not. But I know you're much more into recycling. Not that right. I'm not. But if I spend freaking six months building a car and you ask me to put that on, I'm gonna snivel. Okay, this one has a little bit more finish now that I've looked at it, but we'll still save it. We just might need it for something. Anyway, we won't throw it away. Look, it looks like brand new. So what would you put it on? A rusty old pitted up? Ah, uh, somebody's doing an old, uh, Patina bill, or somebody actually wants the original ones and they want to pay that and be chromed, they do do that, right? right? Way more expensive. I know, I know, but we've done it before on stuff that we couldn't get. You right, never but know. You can get these, is all I'm saying. Yes. But will they be as nice? Well, they're going to look 
a lot better. Yeah. And they may only last 30 years instead of 50, 50 years, right? 60, yes. Yeah. Well, they may last five or eight years like a bumper. Okay. Bumper. Get out that latch. Okay. I need a garbage truck. Yeah. 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 Rob. Gasco? Yeah. I suppose about the uh, the trade show. Oh, I wow. just I just want to. Let it sit. There. And I didn't even get it red hot. Yeah. Was that a there? Or <laughs> no, everything went as planned. As planned, yes. Why don't you pick it up with your fingers? And I don't know <laughs> what to say about that. That's a rarity. Yeah, so. I'm gonna burn up that perfectly old useless tag. Don't watch, Mike, it's gonna hurt you. Well, what, did you try them first without it? Just to see? <laughs> Just asking. Here, let me try. Oh, Maybe I'm stronger the door than you. Across the shop. Maybe I'm stronger than you. Take around with it just because, oh, they might be tight. You could have just done this too, you know. You could have, but anyway, too you, late now. You gotta be kidding me. You man. just like destroying. You gotta you be kidding. kidding me. It's half a tag. I know. But Look at the, that. But it's the important part. It's the part with the VIN number. Doesn't matter. Because it doesn't match this car now, anyway. I know. I'm just being. A yeah. But anyway, it's just cool to I see. I know. It. You try to work to your strengths. <laughs> now is not the time. Mm. Wherever possible, guys, put the screws back and then you're not looking for them. And by the look of this door, we should use this ladder instead of anything to do with those. I'm sure, yes. It's just like going in coffee. Ta -ta -ta. And of course, you'll buy a bolt kit, so we have brand new bolts. I think, I think we do have a bolt kit. I think I ordered one. I don't know if it's got door bolts, but I thought I ordered a master kit. It's probably in that big box. It weighs 300 pounds, but I don't want to open it up right no, now. No, 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 no. We're going to have to get the chrome that goes around the tub, corners, rear deck, because I got to fit that to the metal work. We have that. Where? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, you're on a roll. Don't let me stop you. I'll go get it. No. Well, okay. Yeah. Is it handy? Yeah. Okay, great. Go find it. Good. Oh, right in Mike's filing cabinet. Oh, oh, oh really? I had, had this yesterday. Well, all you had to do was ask. You weren't here. Because you were on vacation. You know, there's this amazing device they invented a while ago, about 130 years ago. It's called the telephone. The t uh, this is. It's a. Oh, wow. What? Pretty close. I'm going to pretend that's not complete. Luke. It's skill. It was yeah. pure, pure on a dose grade. It's skill, Blair. Yeah, it's a good job. <laughs> no. you got to be good to be lucky. Right on. Yeah. There we go. Look at that, eh? Oh, that just cool, man. I'm really happy about that. Yeah. They had a lot of concerns. That corner was rather good. Yeah. Robin from Peter to pay Paul. The rust froze away. Okay. 
I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so this is yeah, this is what we were looking at, right? Yeah, you pinch weld in the bottom. Yeah, yeah that is. Well, look at that, eh, guys? Yeah, it's freaking beautiful. For a 50, 52 year, oh, 50. Oh, sorry look. about that tag. Yeah, sorry about that tag. But yeah, anyway. this is super nice. And then while I'm at it, I guess I might as well get your rad support for this car. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then we can get that done, then we can put some epoxy primer on it, right? You know why Blair likes working outside? He can smoke while he works out here. <laughs> what color are these? Are these like semi-gloss satin? Yeah, yeah, they're black. Yep, yep. Epoxy the right color for it? Yep, yep. Okay. I don't care. We just want to protect it. I mean, it's, but I don't think it's a shiny black. It'd be like the same underneath the hood of my 68 Chevelle. Right, but anyway.